Welcome back to Mr. Menta's ELL Classroom. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if anyone is ever going to watch this video. I started out making these videos during the school year. And I sent these lessons to my students once a week. But now the school year's over. This lesson is only for people if they want it. If they want to keep working on their English skills over the summer. So I don't know. Maybe no one will watch it. Maybe this will just rot in a forgotten corner of the internet somewhere forever. But I'm going to keep going. There's only a little way left in the book. And if any students ever do watch these videos over the summer, I want the whole book to be there for them. So that I can say I did a good job providing these videos for my students. So I'm going to push forward. And I happen to actually kind of like some of the lessons in this, which is why I decided to do them. We could have skipped them, but I think they're pretty good, especially the last one. So, to finish this video, you're going to need this page from your activity book, page 104. You do need to print that one. Page 105, you do need to print that one. And page 106, you do need to print this one. So this is a very activity heavy page. In particular, this one I like. But I like this one. So if you're gonna skip ahead, Skip to that one. All right, so let's go through these. First, we're practicing the old want to, wants to. This is one of those things that is the difference between being functional at English and being proficient at English, okay? Do you want to just be good enough so that people can understand what you're saying? Or do you want to sound really good? Okay, I want you to sound good. So we're going to practice this. Very simple. You fill in the blanks. I want to have a picnic tomorrow. George want to or wants to. little practice thinking about that S. Because it's easy to forget about that S. Then, bad weather. Okay. Okay, use the words in the box to um, fill it in, but you need more than that. You need to make a whole sentence using the words in the box. Like, what does Richard want to do tomorrow? You see in the picture, he wants to go sailing. What's the forecast? It's going to rain. Okay, so we're going to fill those in just like these for the other ones. And I believe that's the end of the page. Yes, it is. So do those two activities. Uh, then come back to me. I'll give you the answers. Then we'll go over the next one. Okay? So pause the video. Fill in the answers. All right. Did you pause the video and fill in the answers? Good. So number two, remember, listen to the S. Do we have the S? George wants to work in his garden. Wants. Karen wants to take her children to a concert. Four, Mr. and Mrs. Sato want to go to the beach. Five, you want to see a movie. Six, I want to see a play. Seven, my friends want to go to a basketball game. Paying attention to the S or no S? I hope so. All right, next. What does Lucy want to do this afternoon? What is that? Uh, looks like that. She wants, wants, with the S, 
She wants to take her son to the zoo. What's the forecast? It will. Well, well, you know what? Let's use going to. I'm sorry. We've been practicing going to in this chapter. Let's stick with that. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. We can say it will. It will is good, correct grammar, but we haven't been practicing that this chapter, so we'll let that go. Okay? Number three. What do Carl and Betty want to do today? They want, no S, want to go jogging. What's the forecast? It's going to snow. Number four, what does Jeff want to do tomorrow morning? He wants with the S, wants, he wants to go skiing. What's the forecast? It's going to be warm. <coughs> All right, you're doing good. Let's go on to the next sheet. Page 105. Okay. Yes and no. So, doesn't want to or don't want to. Again, this is more of the he, she, it rule. It's the same rule as the S. It's just now we're saying no instead of yes. Okay? So, my parents want to buy a new car. Yes. They, they don't want to buy a motorcycle. So this is the no if, this is the yes, okay? So, for each one of these, it should be pretty clear. For what they said, yes, they do want to do, you say no, they don't, or he, she, it doesn't want to do, okay? Yes and no. So now, we're back to the uh, is... Uh, am, is, and are rule, except it's I'm not, he isn't, we aren't. Same thing. So you're going to use different versions of this and going to, to fill in the blanks. Again, this is good practice. This is good practice. Stephen is going to go swimming. He isn't going to go sailing. Okay? So this is the same thing, yes and no. Only now we're using these words, okay? All right, so pause the video, fill in the answers. Okay, did you pause the video and fill in the answers? Let's go over them. So listen carefully. Number two, listen to me. David wants to go to a baseball game. He doesn't want to go to a concert. Number three. I want to wash my car. I don't want to wash my clothes. Four. Nancy and Pam want to play baseball. They don't want to play soccer. Michael wants to cook Italian food. He doesn't want to cook American food. We want to study English. We don't want to study history. Oh, history is very interesting. I have taught both history and English, and I would rather study history. History's got all the cool stuff. All the good, you know, <laughs> wars and, you know, death and bombing and crazy, you know, all the crazy stories. They're all history. So 
The most interesting subject, if you ask me. Seven. Margaret wants to dance with John. She doesn't want to dance with Jim. I want to work in the garden today. I don't want to work in the kitchen. Okay, next one. We're using I'm not, he, she, it, isn't, and you, we, they, aren't going to. Okay. Number two. I'm going to take a shower. I'm not going to take a bath. Get that? I'm not going to take a bath. Okay. Number three. We're going to go bowling. We're not. Oh, I'm sorry. I should stick with what we have here. We aren't. Not we're not. You can say we're not. So what I was going to say is we're not going to go shopping. And that's fine. That's a correct answer. That's correct grammar. I'm just practicing what they have in the box. We were supposed to use only the words in the box for the answer. So practicing with this, we're going to say we aren't going to go shopping. Although you could just say we aren't going shopping. Same thing. Okay. Barbara is going to go to the beach. She isn't going to go to the mall. Number five. My parents are going to clean the attic. They aren't going to clean the basement. It's going to be warm. It isn't going to be cool. You checking your work? Anytime you find a mistake and you need more time to fix it, you can pause the video. Number seven. Robert is going to listen to the news. He isn't going to listen to the forecast. Eight. You're going to buy a used car. You aren't going to buy a new car. Okay? Good. Let's get to the last page. This is really my favorite page in this. This has almost been eh, too long. This video is getting too long, which is a shame because I like this. Okay? Because this is the question you're supposed to ask in school. They don't ask this enough. This is actually the most important question in school. What do they want to be? It's actually like a deep question. Amy is an actress. But she wants to be a baker. She wants to work in a bakery and bake pies and cakes. Okay. That speaks to me. People doing something that they don't really want to do. I know what that's like. And as kids, you may not really know what that's like. Certainly not to be doing a job you don't want to do. But it's, it's not very good. So you need to think now about what kind of job you want. That's more important than learning English. What kind of job do you want to do? And you probably need to speak English to do that job, although not necessarily, but probably. But so, anyway... Get back to this. What does Amy want to be? And so now, we have to fill in the lines for this. And answer that question. Each line is one word, okay? What did they say? She wants to be a baker, okay? Now, so, so you're going to have to fill in all of these lines, okay? Mostly to get these answers. You have to mind your question words. Mind your question words, okay? 
So this is a question. But what are we asking? Are we asking who? Are we asking what? Are we asking where? Are we asking when? What word goes there? Look at the answer. Okay? So we're going to do that for this. Let's do them one at a time. Okay? So pause the video and see if you can fill in these blanks. Okay? you got to think a little bit. Let's just do Amy. Okay? We'll do Amy, then we'll go over it. So pause the video. Fill in the answers. All right, did you pause the video? Okay. So, what does Amy want to be? She wants to be a baker. Where does she want to work? I'll say that again. Where does she want to work? She wants to work in a bakery. What does she want to bake? She wants to bake pies and cakes. Did you get all that? Okay. Pause the video and make changes if you didn't. Next one. Let's do the next one, okay? Marvin is a baker. But he wants to be an actor. He wants to sing and dance in movies in Hollywood. Okay? So just like above, fill in the blanks on this one. It's going to be, what does Marvin... You get it? So pause the video. Fill in the blanks, okay? What, you ready? What does Marvin want to be? He wants to be an actor. Don't forget your capital H in he. Don't forget your capital. Where does he want to work? He wants to work in Hollywood. What does he want to do? He wants to sing and dance. Okay, good job. All right, now, answer these questions. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Where do you want to work? Okay. I could say, I want to be a writer. I want to write books and blogs about the development of American culture and history. Where do you want to work? I want to travel around the country and around the world to find interesting things to write about. Okay? That's what I would write. But instead I'm here in my basement making a YouTube video for people who might never watch it. But if someone ever does watch this, you write this now. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Where do you want to work? These are important questions. Probably the most important questions that you need to answer in school. Because after you get to be out of school, it's almost too late. If you need to figure this out now, 
when you're a kid so that you can be happy when you're an adult? These are very important questions, the most important questions we have asked in Mr. Mentis ELL classroom. So take a minute, really think about it, and write down the answers for yourself, okay? Write down the answers here. Then show it to your parents and ask them to help you achieve that. Okay? This will help you have a good life. Alright, that's the end of this video. Good work.